This may sound a little dramatic, but you really cannot like a man until he loves you. The way it is out here these days, you cannot like a man until he loves you. Get back in the kitchen! This makes absolutely no sense, but unbeknownst to a lot of guys, I don't know if you noticed this, but what she has effectively done right now is put out a simp trap. I like to call it a simp trap because guys will listen to this because she's so attractive they'll take this and use this in real life or they'll hit her up and try to use these lines on her so she can extract more time attention validation orbiters and simps to appease her ego so what she put out is the simp trap that was the purpose like a thirst trap this is a simp trap this is the purpose for this type of content guys sucking the life out of simps cash apps every single day don't fall for it it sounds absolutely ridiculous. Women don't know what they want. That's why men lead and women follow. It's ridiculous, man. <laughs> These women are trying so hard to be camouflaged, but I keep catching them. Why don't people date their friends anymore? Like, actually, why don't we stop dating our friends? Because imagine a few years ago, all of a sudden your best friend is the guy you're engaged to, is, the, is your boyfriend. You started out as friends, now you're dating. Who nowadays starts out as friends and then ends up dating? Tell me because why don't we stop doing that? That's such a good principle, it's such a good way to go. But then I thought, I have so many guy friends and I never in a million years would consider dating them, ever. I would never, even, I, actually, I would think about it, but I wouldn't do it, ever. I wouldn't do it because I would be like, nah, you know, I just, I wouldn't. And I wonder why. There is a study that was done on this. It's called the privatization of dating. So dating usually, nowadays happens online and you get straight into it like you start off with romantic interest and that's how it develops and it's become more and more private you know it's not happening in public anymore where you meet someone and you get to know them and i feel like it's just gotten so much harder to get out of the friend zone especially if you were friend zoned by a guy i feel like the other way around might be easier but if you get friend zoned by a guy gosh have mercy on us the study that you referenced made no sense and the correlation did not correlate <laughs> like she really was thinking that she was spitting but she didn't make any sense the reason why you don't date those guys that are in your friend zone is because those guys did not spark you romantically and they're waiting in the friend zone to get the box and that's the thing like everything that you're saying doesn't make sense the real reason guys are your friends and the reason why you won't date them because you're not romantically invested in those guys and those guys are simps beta males and they're waiting to get sex but they're too pussy to get out of the friend zone and tell you how they really feel so what they do instead of telling you and they just like today i'm gonna do it then they just you know turn into simps and beta males and they don't do it and they just sit in the friend zone and wait for years it's crazy, bro, but these women, man, they act like they have no idea. They always try to circle around and make things correlate that don't correlate whatsoever, and it's bullcrap. That's why we here. That's why we got Bountyville. Me, personally, I'm not chasing no man, because I just feel like, why are you as a man running from a woman? Because think about it. In order for there to be a chase, someone has to be running. So why are you, the man, running from a woman? Did you hear how that sounds? Just picture that. A man running from a woman sounds a little, huh, it's questionable. And then men typically take on the role of leading. So why would you not want to lead in the pursuit of a romantic interest? Why would you, the man, want to be the hunted instead of the hunter? Because there's a level of dominance that comes with that. So why would you not want that as the man? So any man that's expecting me <laughs> to be the chaser won't be no man of mine. You will never hear from me again if I even get an inkling that you're expecting me to chase you. I don't want no man that's going to run from me. Well, ma'am, you posed the question. Why would a man be running away from a woman? It's simple. If a man is running away from a woman, then she's either annoying, unattractive, uh, has meaning unattractive traits, acts masculine, which makes all of our sticks go, which is unattractive. And it's the reverse banana. And we get up out of there and us noticing and actually feeling and getting a glimpse to understanding that you would give an aspirin a headache and not just a guy. <laughs> <laughs> 
And you got to understand and put the foundation that men, we do not chase. We attract. And the thing is, the guys that you go for that attract you, that net you, they attain you for sex. After the sex is on you to get the relationship. But the reason is, I'm saying... I oppose what you said about us chasing you. You're actually chasing us because you have a finite amount of time in your prime years between 18 and 24, which you're wasting right now on TikTok, making stupid videos and opinions about guys that you're not going to date anyway. Um, that's why it would force you, your biology will force you to chase us. So you're actually chasing the man's last name and men give away commitment. So you can't get commitment without a man and a man can't get sex without him getting, giving something to you to make you open up and give him the sex. So that's what this is. That's why what you said makes no sense whatsoever. Nice try, Naomi. <laughs> try again next time. And that's exactly how a lot of y'all ninjas gonna be when y'all go to Japan and y'all start freaking on the Japanese women. <laughs> this is for sure gonna be me. This is why you gotta get your passport and get on board with the passport bros and the passport Joes. All of my villains is global. Haters is mad cause they local. Program, yeah, they know that they local. Probably not right in the head. Maybe it's something I said or something I did. My passport is blue and they faces are red.